Beautiful day, Patriots. Good morning. It's December 24th, 2018. Uh, happy holidays to all of you. So today, I'm go what happened yesterday, we're going to talk about POTUS Trump's tweets yesterday. Uh, on the 23rd, which was yesterday, there was a time uh, he posted this tweet that I've written down right here. It came in at five minutes past the hour. Wherever you are at, it would be different. We've gone over this many a times. The most important things, to, now you can read this and do whatever you want with this at, on your own. But what I wanted to show is that he capped everyone knows, okay? Now, uh, if you follow my stuff, you will know that uh, I've got the timestamp and gap code that you can study and figure out. But this one here led me to QDrop 805. I don't need to, I don't want to go into that right now. It'll take too long. I'm just going to show you the example. 805. Q drop, excuse me, uh, Q drop 508. What I've had to do is use the code to get that number. DEFCON 1 stringer marker is the name of the Q drop. DEFCON 1, as we know now, is not a DEFCON 1 as in military operations or as a warning for war. DEFCON 1 is actually POTUS himself. That is his code word. We've got evergreen. Uh, Maverick, we've heard all these different code names for everybody. Well, POTUS's Trump's is DEFCON 1. Probably guys already know this. So we've got the stringer and marker. Let's read this Q drop together. It's perfect. Plausible deniability to the world, yet ultimate confirmation to us. Who is us? Anons. Us. We are the anons. The timing between tweets. The missing slash replaced letters. <clears throat> this isn't a game. Trump himself is speaking to us. This is still all the Q drop. This is not me speaking. This is Q drop 508 that POTUS Trump gave us and showed us how to find this with capitalized words everyone knows. Okay. Uh, this isn't a game. Trump himself is speaking to us. I mean, we are the autists-fueled engine the world needs right now. That's you, me, all of us that are in this. All of us, Anons. I feel honored to be a part of this. This is what the QDrop 508 says. None of these words are mine. I do want to say, though, that's exactly how I feel. I am very honored. I feel incredibly honored to be a part of this. Unbelievable. I have no idea how I was chosen to find this stuff. All glory goes to Jesus. Thank you, God. So that was Q drop 508. Do you see what I'm talking about? The timing between tweets. Let's go over that for a second. So if we got two tweets with POTUS Trump and there's a 17 minute difference and everybody goes, woohoo, Q, POTUS Trump. Do you think it's that simple? You think it just stops there? Is that the only thing we're doing? Of course not. Now, many anons are finding many, 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 many different things <coughs> with the timestamps. And they're all working. It's, this is so complex. This has been done with computers and brains that are beyond most of our comprehensions. Mine for sure. So how it's all working out, we'll have to read the book and watch the movie when it's over. Right now, we're, pop, we're just playing it. So on December 21st, 2018, POTUS Trump also tweeted a video on his on if you go to his tweet timeline you will see that it goes to the very same q drop of 613 i might have put this a little oh, okay i put this a little bit out of order here but in that video right there on the december 21st is the video that he's talking about shutting down the government saying that that's just how it's going to go it was a one minute and 36 seconds long we do the first to the uh First to third, which is in the timestamp and gap code, which gave us 613, which led us to the Q drop of 613, which is detention of U.S. citizens. We know that the Congress can't be arrested if they're in session. They're no longer in session. That's what this video was about. We're also talking about detentions of U.S. citizens. That was on December 21st. The reason I bring that one back up again is because yesterday, the 23rd, there was two tweets that uh, POTUS Trump uh, tweeted out. Uh, might be a little, okay. Uh, on two and three tweets before, 
Okay, let's skip that first line. That was for a different video. Put, okay, uh, put us Trump's two tweets about Rand Paul. When you look at those two tweets yesterday, he did two tweets yesterday about Rand Paul. When you look at those two tweets on his timeline, you will see that the two tweets have Rand Paul, thanks Rand Paul. Even though the tweets are like that, the first word of the first tweet says Rand Paul. The last word on the last tweet says Rand Paul. So it looks like they line up right next to each other, okay? The only thing that separates them is the word thanks. Now, the first one tweet that came in was at 18 minutes past the hour. It doesn't matter what hour mine says. Yours will say something different, right? We go over this constantly every video. But you will see, write down whatever it is. On the second tweet of the day that he talked about Rand Paul, even though it was not a continuation tweet, it was the next tweet. It came in at 32 minutes past the hour, whatever hour it was. But no matter what mine hour says or your hour says, there was a six hour and 14 minute difference between the two tweets, correct? We don't talk about difference, we talk about the timestamp and gap code. So the 614 is 613 which gives us back to QDROP 613, detentions of the U.S. citizens, the PDF. Two days before, he talked about closing down the, the government, shutting down the government. That same video brought us to 613. So what I'm trying to show is that he's done it two times in two days, brought us to 613 because we all know we're about ready to be arresting our U.S. citizens, aren't we? This was the cue, that, or excuse me, this was the tweet that he just did today, the 24th of December. It's his first video, excuse me, his first two tweets of the day. His first tweet came in at 41 minutes past the hour. His second tweet came in at 59 minutes past the hour. That is a difference between 18 minutes between the two tweets, no matter where you are in the world. So we would use the timestamp and gap code that gave us 17 minutes in between these two tweets. These two tweets were a stringer. And the first one, as he ended it, he used three dots to tell you that the more is coming. And when he started the second tweet at 59 minutes past the hour, he used four dots to start the tweet. So we write this uh, Q drop like this. We put the 17 down first because that's our gap. We use the three dots and then the four dots, which brings us to the Q drop of 1734. When we go look at 1734, it says, who is this message for but Anons? Or excuse me, it was, I believe it says, who else but would understand this message but Anons? So, you know, we're getting really close to understanding a lot more <clears throat> with these dots in between the tweets. I'll uh, reiterate again. If the first tweet comes in and it has four dots, He's going to tweet again within the same minute. <clears throat> Pardon me. If there's four dots and then there's four dots on the second tweet, there is no timestamp in between. So he could put four dots and then have a gap in between the next tweet, but it won't be four dots. Does that make sense? So we do know that I'm writing down a bunch of different things like this three, four, I'm trying to figure out or a four or five or I figured out. I believe the 4-4, four, four, I believe I understand maybe what a 6-6 six, six is, but we'll just kind of, when I have more information, I'll, I'll be able to do that. So the only one I'm kind of almost positive about is the 4 and 4. I've never seen a time difference in between a 4 tweets, excuse me, 4 dots and 4 dots in the tweets. Patriots, God bless you. I hope this helps. Have a glorious, glorious year. Amen.